Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some Brock men's hockey action here at Kennedy Games Park. They're taking on the Laurier Golden Hawks. Welcome back indeed. Welcome into 2023. We should be in for a good matchup tonight. Down low, Bazran's going to take it and cover it. That's a good pass out in front. Poochie's got speed. Poochie fire scores! Frankie Poochie! Puts it in the top shelf and gives the Badgers a 1-0 lead. That was a close chance for the Brock Badgers. Up top, Neighbors fire scores! Tipped out in front, got shot. With a nice move, Benwell shot, that save by Bazarin. Blue still Bazarin with the save, scores! Got shot, finishes off the rebound as Bazarin can't stop three of them. Bernie along the half boards will move it on in. Bernie fires, scores! Tyler Bernie again! He can't stop scoring. Across for Roach. Roach out in front for Brack. Fire scores! Justin Brack! Beats prop low glove again. And the batters take a 3 to 2 lead. Fired in, just Patsy. Blue scores! Off the rebound. Tyler Davis ties this one at 3. Pass across. Taylor, pass out in front, shot scores! And we'll chip it on out for Berg. Berg has a wide open lane as he's got speed all day. And we'll fire it home out of Berg. And that will do it here at Canada Games Park for Brock Badgers and the Laurier Golden Hawks. The Badgers beat the Golden Hawks 5-3. The Badgers are back from the winter break, and they're on a roll. Ranked third in the OUA West and holding an 11-4 record, the team has their eyes set on the playoffs. So this year there's a new structure in the OUA for playoffs. Uh, it used to be the top eight teams from each division make it, now it's the top six. So uh, there's ten teams on our side and six of them make it, so obviously we've put ourselves in a good position, but where we want to be uh, the top two teams actually get a bye past the first round and uh, the third, fourth, fifth and sixth teams battle it out in the first round and uh, go from there. So we want to be in a position where we can be in the top two, get a bye through that first round and ultimately play less games, be more rested as we chase going to the national championships. It's been a, a good year. Um, I think, you know, there's still, you know, as we get ready for playoffs now, there's opportunities to continue to get better. And I think the biggest thing that our group has is a willingness to, you know, keep getting better, as TJ says, and you know, we're not we're not satisfied. We want to continue to improve. It's that pursuit to get better. This is what you you dream about as an athlete, as a coach. It's the best time of year. It's the hardest thing you you can do in team sports is chase down a championship, and and in hockey in particular, that's such a physical, emotional game, and the, you got to go through a series every time, every step of the way and we get to start with game one, and we couldn't be more excited. Now throughout the second semester, the way fans have really started to find out and come to these games, and we're getting larger and larger crowds, and I know come playoffs, it's gonna be packed in here, so it's gonna be so important for guys really trying to dig deep and find that extra edge, and you know, what's gonna motivate them better than over a thousand people screaming, cheering for them every time someone makes a hit or, or buries a nice goal. But really our goals are to develop our, our habits and make sure we're in the right mindset going into playoffs. Playoff hockey can be a little chaotic at times, and you have a game plan, and that's all great until the puck is dropped, and then it's, and then it's, it could, it, it could go sideways quickly. So, just sticking to the basics, our fundamentals, playing with good habits, having good discipline, and controlling your emotions because both teams want it so badly that uh, you got to be able to maintain your focus through adversity. A lot of things that we preach is about you know being being relentless. We talk about mastering the basics. And um, you know, for for playoffs, we're not asking the guys really to do uh, anything outside of you know what we've 
what we what our message has been all year. Uh, we're just asking them, you know, to continue to execute those things. As playoffs approach, the team turns to trainer Vicky Bendis to get them prepared both on and off the ice. My name is Vicki Bendis. Uh, I'm the lead sport performance coach for the men's and women's soccer teams and men's and women's hockey teams here at Brock. My main role is to, to prepare these athletes to, to play their sport. Uh, with our athletes here, we try to take a, a focus on development so that they're um, you know, coming in and, and leaving the program better physically, stronger, faster uh, than what they came in. So we do speed work, which means sprinting. Uh, we do strength work, which, which might be uh, Olympic lifting or, or trap or deadlift or uh, lunging. Uh, we do stuff for the torso, so things like planks, uh, dead bugs. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a full body uh, type of approach. Every Monday, uh, practice starts off with speed school. So uh, our coach TJ gives me kind of the first 15 minutes to, to 20 minutes, uh, and we run through uh, speed drills that help develop how fast the players ski. We're working on uh, different types of, of skating, uh, so we'll focus on kind of the, the first three acceleration steps. We'll focus on more longer distances, so getting them up to, to top speed. We'll work on the crossovers, so if you, if you watch hockey, they have to be pretty dynamic. We want to train their speed in a lot of different ways. When we have multiple stations, we try to kind of integrate both speed school stuff and then any type of uh, shooting or stick handling skill work that they might want to be working on. It's just like any other training modality where if we want to get a player stronger if we just do it you know, once a month or once every couple of months. Uh, there's not really enough stimulus there to, to get them faster, so the consistency is really huge. Um, getting them exposed to, to skating fast uh, every single week allows them to develop those qualities over the course of the year. As the team sticks to their training and prepares for playoffs, they face one major change, a new addition to the roster. My name is Roman Bazran, number one goaltender for the Brock Men's Hockey. Uh, I think a personal goal of mine, obviously, is to do well in school, number one. And that's pretty important for me right now, is doing well in school. And then, obviously, I hope to sign a pro contract after the year. I think it was like October, I was in Toronto training with the Steelheads after my surgery. Um, so I was just getting back on the ice. And uh, TJ was at one of the Steelheads games. And, um, you know, he kind of showed up there and, you know, asked my coach, uh, JR, to talk to me. And, you know, we kind of had a good meeting, good chat. He sent me some information and I really looked into it. It kind of built up and it kind of like I think before Christmas kind of made a decision and talked to my family about it and they said it would be a good, great opportunity for me to get an education and go to school as well while pursuing hockey and um, what, you know, what better place to do it at. I think Baz has been great coming to the team. It's obviously a new situation for him, not just coming to a team in the middle of the year, but he's never been a student athlete at the same time. So for him getting adjusted to that uh, as quickly and, and as well as he's done, I think it's been great for the team morale because no one has to worry about him. He's taking care of himself and now he's taking care of the net as well. Consistency obviously is like key to anything. I think whether it came at the beginning, the end, the middle, wherever it is, I think just doing the same thing every day and being consistent is the most important thing. Of course a team that, you know, has good statistics and goals against average and save percentage and, you know, defense is a team that's going to go further in the playoffs, right? Like that's the kind of team that you want to play for. Is a gritty team, a hard-working team, you know what I mean? I think our team works, works really hard. And when we have more success is when we work together. Uh, at the end of the day, it's about, you know, the five players on the ice working together as a unit, having trust and supporting each other. And, you know, getting them to, you know, have what we call like a hive mind. You know, they've got to be able to think together and know what each guy is doing. You know, we talk about our game plan and, and playing, you know, our Badger style of play. Um, it's really just about, you know, trusting the process almost and continuing continuing with what we've done that's led to our success but you know you don't as they say you don't build Rome in a day I think you know it's really important to stay in the moment there's a line my, you know, my grandma says you know you can't slow down the river and you can't speed it up either so for us it's just about you know living in the moment staying in that state of flow and you know each day each practice try to be our best we're completely ready which is exciting and as ready as you can be and you know it's cool we've used the example of like climbing Everest uh, you know 
as this journey and you really you got to take one step at a time it's one foot in front of the other and you know there's going to be things that come along the way on a journey that are unexpected there's going to be adversity there's going to be uh, moments you didn't see coming and i think the the biggest thing for us is staying together is you know living in the moment taking it one step one breath at a time and not getting too far ahead of ourselves you know you can't you know think about the top when you're at the bottom you got to think about that next step like you can feel it in practice in the locker room the guys are ready they've been thinking about this moment you know since we got here in august they've been looking forward to you know an opportunity to play the big games you know that line tj said that we're on this journey to play our best hockey when it matters most and you know the best thing is that message has been from you know from the steel blade and now we get to step into that moment where now it really does matter the most.